you know I'm um, hopelessly overwhelming in love with you, Buttercup? No, why? Because you're not only the most stunning woman in the world that I know. I think you're very, very, very. Did I say very? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, very. <laughs> If you were smart, then you would know that he's lying to you because based on the decisions you've made so far, you are clearly not smart. If you haven't watched part one of this video, check it out. The link will be in the description or it's also come up over here. Um, check it out. I'll give you a quick breakdown so that we are up to speed. Beyonce, aka Bernice, is an insufferable bitch who really wants to win a competition. They turn this competition to a do or die affair. Well, it is a do or die affair, Jay. And I want you to stay out of it. See, that's why I need to win this year's competition, Jay. See, that's why I must win this year's competition. So I am not going to let anybody intimidate me out of that competition. Before you can win any other competition. Jay, Jay-Z over here is Beyonce's boyfriend, of course. And they have the most toxic relationship ever. I've never, not once thought of cheating on you. You think I'll start now? You have issues. Well, I know. These two guys want the ladies to kiss their cock <laughs> before they give them the award for the competition because they are the organizers. And that's basically part one of the movie. Now, you would think Rihanna would be afraid of awards because of what Chris Brown did to her with the BET award that's one time but that's not the case she also really wants to win the award you're right i will do anything creatively possible to win a competition and so she goes to beyonce to make peace because they have to work together to take down the organizers who want them to kiss their cock <laughs> look listen i have a plan i have a good plan and if this competition is as important to you as it is to me then you will listen to my plan when you're ready you know where to locate me for now, good night. <laughs> what was that? So they go to an internet cafe that is inside a house that looks like a hotel to do what people do best in internet cafes fraud. But this time it's good fraud. They are impersonating the organizers, sending emails to the girls to get them all together at one place and then report the organizers to their boss. But these are not complete. There are two girls remaining. My two friends. I'm leaving them out for personal reasons. Oh, so you can't even play straight with me, isn't it? Wow, so even when you are taking down your enemies, you are doing corruption. Is it in our blood or something? I don't know. I think it might be genetic. Or I, don't, I don't know. Look, Bernice, I'm not about to argue about this now. Okay, I said I, I'm leaving them out for personal reasons. Either you accept this or you leave it. Your friends did you dirty, so destroy them equally as much as I'm going to destroy everybody else. Why are you doing that? Have you drafted the message? Well, duh, I bet you have eyes and you can see me. This duh thing is one of the most abused things that we, we learned from African-American culture. People are still using it right now. I think even the Americans have stopped. And they don't even know how to use it. They'll say it in any situation. In the recent YOLO episode, there was one inside. I saw one inside. If you didn't like me, you think you'd be rocking them? He likes me, duh. That's not how to use it, my dear. That's not how to use it. By the way, check out my videos on YOLO. It will come over here. And the link will be in the description. Someone explain to me what in God's name is the meaning of this. <laughs> Not the three of you too. Someone should explain what's going on here. You'll get an explanation all right. Oh, rhyme. I always find this thing funny when they do it in Hollywood movies. Like, did you hear him say that from where you were? There's no way you heard him. Somebody will say something casually and then somebody who's like 50 miles away will who complete the sentence. Like, how did you hear them? But by far the most iconic thing that was said in this scene was this. Sorry, sorry, it's not what you think. We can explain. First one, we can explain. I'm looking for the first person who, who did that in a Hollywood movie because from that point onwards till now, every time somebody is caught red-handed in an action, every time they can explain. Like you have a scene where the wife will walk in and see the husband with another woman naked and then he'll say, I can explain. Explain what? Do you, you want to break down the process of how, what you were doing? Is that, what, is that the explanation? But the second one is my favorite. We are very sorry for the disappointment, sir. It's the work of the devil. <laughs> because who else could it be if not the devil? If I was the devil, I would shut down Nollywood. Because imagine hearing your name every single time somebody does something that you had nothing to do with. And you come and see that, oh, it's a, it's a movie. Why, why are you disturbing the guy? I'm starting to think that even the Garden of Eden self, the devil didn't do anything. Maybe they just lied on him because it's too much. At least you guys got these girls to kiss your cock. <laughs> and get your boss massage. Did you call the devil when you were enjoying? You didn't, so why are you bringing him inside now? So the boss, in order to fix the corruption, decides to do more corruption by paying the girls a thousand dollars and paying five thousand dollars to the girls who make it to the finals. I will demonstrate my goodwill by making a deposit of one thousand US dollars into your personal account first thing tomorrow morning. 
and an additional 5,000 US dollars for the four girls who will be able to make it into the finals. I'm telling you guys, the corruption might be in our genes, okay? Because I don't understand. By the way, this competition is supposed to be a music and dance competition. Do you know how many times we see the girls sing and dance? Zero. They don't sing and dance in the movie at all. Not even when they show the competition. Oh, quiet there. I don't need you two cheap, low esteem girls as friends anymore. So like they say, adios. Like who says, who says that in Nigeria? Is it, is it not bye bye as you say? You say adios in Nigeria. Let me know, let me know in the comments, my, my Niger people. Is that what you say? And good radiance. Look at the phone. Fast thoughts. I am going to make sure you regret this. You hear me? You can't do anything, you have been chopped. Just take it and go home. Look, look at you two big heads. You, you, you think you can get away with this disgrace? You look at that man. You will not get it's away with yours. One girl, that, that other girl saw Uche Jumbo coming out from being chopped and also decided to go inside to go and get chopped. I am not fooled, you know. This still does not change the way I feel about you or the perception I have of you. So now that the competition drama has calmed down, we need a new source of drama. And you can always trust Jim Ike whenever you need drama. Yeah, well, yeah you fine, baby. I don't need to break it down like this, but I just like doing this because it's so dope. So he's standing with his girl, Beyonce, right now, telling her that she's the best. She has won everything. Sweetie, your performance out there was off the chain. Spaced out. This thing is yours for the asking. Yeah. But then Rihanna rhyme walks out, and Jim Ike had no rhyme or reason for what he, he did right now. Oh, listen, don't mean to intrude, but... I just had to see your performance back there, phenomenal. Thank you, thank you. Um, although I still feel like your girlfriend's um, performance was uh, off the hook. I will say, Bernice has got nothing on you, for real. <laughs> she has got nothing on you. Jay-Z has turned to Bruno Mars. <laughs> your performance back there, phenomenal. Do you want to get together later so that you can... Eat my hot bunnies. Thank you, thank you. Um, although I still feel like... Oh yes, you know I really really want to eat your hot bunnies. <laughs> now any grown up or some children with bad parents can see at this point that the orgasm between these two is inevitable. It's going to happen. At least a real one for Jay and probably a fake one for Rihanna because the girls sometimes, you know, they don't, they don't do this thing and lot of them are faking it. That's the, that's the reality on the ground or on the bed, if you like. But before he eats the girl, Beyonce decided to cook some food for him to eat and something strange happened. This scene confused me small because you know that whenever you hear this sound effect in Nollywood movies, something serious has happened. Has he seen something crazy on TV? Has she poisoned the food and he's, he's dying? What is happening? Not again. What? Looks like Jay has great taste in women, but his woman's food has no taste at all. And according to him, this thing tastes like so dust. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> it tastes like sawdust, and that's not the last bullet he had in the clip. I really appreciate all the efforts you put into these things. I do. But I can't seem to get them past my throat. I can't seem to get them past my throat. Somebody told me this one time, but in a different context. But if I was a woman and I heard this thing, I would never cook again. I would never boil water again. I don't even try to make tea again. But what shocked me the most is that they had a very mature conversation about cooking. Like these people are very toxic, but in this scene, they're very mature about the whole thing. Well, what do you expect me to do? I sound like I haven't told you a million times that cooking is not one of my talents, but you keep bugging me with it. Babes, cooking is no one's talent. It's something you grow up on, you know? You to learn from someone you look up to, like your mother. Go ahead, insult my, my entire family, Jay. Babes, I'm not insulting your parents or your family. I would not sit here and brood over my shortcomings when I need all the time in the world to build on my high points. Besides, you don't expect me to learn how to cook at this age. If you want a homemade meal, you can go and get yourself a maid. Sound like you can't afford one, you can afford hundreds of them. And that leads us to today's sponsor, Chef Field. Chef Field is the world's first service for beautiful females 
who cannot cook so that they can find their own personal chef that they can bring to their marriage. They have a wide range of chefs from all walks of life who can cook food from any culture in the world. When you hire these chefs, they become your own personal property so you can use and abuse them however you like, even if they are white. Ladies, the patriarchy has held you down for too long. You are safe now. No more learning how to cook, burning your fingers, crying because of onions. The only reason why you should be crying is because of expensive jewelry from your rich husband. Use my code cooking is for broke men to get a thousand percent off your first hire. Let's get back to the video. All right, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to fight or anything like that. Just go get dressed. We'll go somewhere and eat as usual. The Beyonce we know should be screaming by now, but she's taking it quite well. Unlike in the next scene, which is also involving food. Yo, lady, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Is this a silly joke or something? <laughs> And if you watch this scene carefully, we can see signs of the incoming hot Spanish eating between Jay and Rihanna. What are you doing? How dare you try to my man? Are you crazy? This is accident. It was an accident? You just told her, lady, what are you doing? You didn't see that it was an accident then? <laughs> oh, please, Shay, this is not an accident. I know this went too well. Nothing about her is an accident. You listen, girl. This here is my man, so you stay the hell away from me. Are you sure it's still your man because you are not the one he, he's holding? Oh my love, it's okay. I know you want to hit her, but she's still my girlfriend for now. So don't hit her, but just relax, okay? Don't go. Come back, come back, come back, don't go. <laughs> Did you see how he pushed you back? He's trying to tell you something, but you are not smart. You see what I'm saying? She's not smart, so she's, you can't see. So as you can see over here, Rihanna is practicing the move she's going to be doing when she finally eats Jay-Z's hot pennies. And guess who she gets the call from? Hello? Hey, how are you? Um, this is the CEO of um, Definite Records. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, what? Whoa, what are you panting for? I can hear all the way down here. And he can feel it all the way down there too. I'm just exercising. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of work to beat that girlfriend of yours. <laughs> yeah, Bernie's is quite competition, I can tell you that. So hey, I didn't call about that. Babe, forget about Bernice. You know that time is getting closer for you to eat my hot Bernice. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme. It's just, it just, it just comes. You know, I'm Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Jimmy, eh? We're supposed to sit down, talk terms. What's up? Um, um, you know, I would really appreciate if we could keep that till after the competition, you know. Yeah, but give me some time to stretch my muscles before you, you stretch me out. <laughs> Beyonce comes to meet him talking to her. They start another screaming match. And then we get a serious revelation about Rihanna. So what's going on? Here, right. Decent indeed. Wow. And we'll get married. This guy was the organizer of the first competition that uh, Beyonce lost to Rihanna. Phil was my my first real love. First love? Ah, this guy with this a boy with this haircut that looks like he was done with a cutlass. Ah, this girl's party. If you let this guy come between you, then it's your fault. There's no way this guy is pulling Nadia Bari and Omotola at the same time. Cannot happen. Well, you know, I, I can relate with all that, but um, the thing here, babes, is. It's different now. You need to learn to embrace your present and your future, not the past. Jay, you seem so unbothered by this thing that you just heard. Could there be a reason why? Because if I were you, I would be bothered. But you don't, you don't seem to... You seem very comfortable. <laughs> okay. Time has transpired. She must have changed. The only thing I'm interested in is that girl's... Botox. Is that girl's talent, period. Oh, sorry, sorry. Talent. On the bed. <laughs> Hey. Move your butt somewhere else because this table is already taken. You know, 
I really don't know why I keep running into you everywhere I go. Because it's in the script. Also, why is this hotel or restaurant that looks like a house, but then there's no one, there's never anybody else there. It's only you guys. Where's that place? So that I don't eat over there because it looks like nobody else likes their food apart from you guys. In the next scene, they happen to meet again, weirdly, and have another screaming match. That's all they do. I'm beginning to get very, very suspicious. What the hell are you doing here again? Then you will never guess what happens next. <laughs> She's beautiful and humble too. All right, let's get this show on the road. I want to watch. No, um, Jay, you know, I really don't think this is a good idea right now. I mean... Madam, you're talking too much. You know why I'm here. Let's get it down, okay? Why are you talking too much? Uh, Jay, you know, you're, you're actually distracting me right now, so I think you should... Are you feeling it? Do you want another one? Well, I'm still not gonna ask you to <laughs> like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. <laughs> I'm still not gonna ask you to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will ask you to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Honestly, if you don't subscribe, I don't give a fuck. I'm Jay Z. You understand? But um, if you want to, you, are, you can also do it. That will also help. Uh, tell your friends about the video. Share the video. Uh, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the movie. This movie is funny. Uh, there are two more parts to this movie, but I'll put the last, the part three and four together because those ones are just full of a lot of nothing. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Joining me, Jay-Z. Um, Jay-Z loved Rihanna so much that he left Beyonce to go and mwah, kiss Rihanna, but uh, he, he still doesn't love her as much as I love you. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Sing the song. I won't kiss you guys, by the way. If I, I love you, but I won't kiss you like that. You understand? By the way, he and I are wearing the same thing. I didn't even catch it. I'm not seeing it. He's wearing the same. We are wearing the same thing. Maybe the shades are different, but we are, we are dressed the same. Oh my goodness! Sing the song. I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe, but you go fi share my video if you know you're feeling my fight. People, I could never ever ask you to like and subscribe, but you go fi share my video if you know.